160 million in one fund just to BuzzFeed and CNN. And they went to these trusted quote reporters. They lined them up. I talked to folks that were there. That's why they got so scared and banned me off Twitter when I confronted Oliver Darcy. And I said, I know you're part of an InfraGuard infrastructure, and I know you've been given a code key and national security clearance into Google, which is really run by the CIA and the NSA. That's on record. And I, I told him the Capitol, I said, I know you're doing this against me, and you're a rogue group, which is criminal, because it's in the law. Well, it was pointed out to me that last week, and it's in the New York Times right here, document cam shot, please, that those billions of dollars divvied up in 150 and $200 million groups was divvied up and ended last week. I was rereading these documents last week up, up here late at night, and I meant to do a whole show on it, but I got distracted. I got diverted, and I, I didn't cover it. And then Harrison Smith has been hosting David Knight's show, great research reporter. He came to me about 45 minutes ago, and he said, have you seen this? Have you seen this? And I said, yeah. I actually have seen that. And he said, nobody's talking about this. And that's so frustrating because we have their program in our hands and we know what they did. We know how they ran it. We know the scandal of Obama putting billions, billions of dollars into the Defense Department before he left. A time bomb to do what you've seen happen. And, and you know what? I am so glad they expended 80% of their propellant on me. Let me tell you, I feel damn good right now that they spent most of the money and that's all they could do was get us all, all these... <laughs> But see, that shows how scared they are. Because in the old days, they could send hitmen around to kill people. But they know everything's surveilled. And they're all dishonorable. They all tattle on each other. And they know how other things work. And that there's other people that will do things if they do things. And so they tried to assassinate my name and my character. And now you see the layoffs. And they happened the week that the funding ended. And that's why funding's so important. You know, I did two hours and I just, you know, I can't do it because you have ads that come on for radio networks, all the rest of it. That doesn't bring in any of our funding. I, I'm covering some super hardcore thing. I just can't go. Oh, by the way, let me tell you about fish oil. Even though fundamentally, I want to say brain force is great. I want to say uh, turbo force is amazing. It is. But if you took it with fish oil, it's like the fish oil is it. The fish oil's better than it. And that's an example of what I'm talking about. Fish oil is liquid energy, brain, body, heart. And we've got the best without all the mercury. Very expensive to produce to have the mercury taken out. The cleanest, the best out there. We've got the children's we've got the adults we've got the krill oil and and, and yeah you know they have the denatured stuff they claim doesn't give you burpees if you're going to get the full effect the fish oil and the children's are really strong they don't give you the burpees but krill oils is the best and it'll give you the damn burps and i'm just sorry you, you want something like this you don't get stuff for free um the krill is hallucinogenic it's so good in, in my view i'm not making a medical statement here but let me tell you something and I eat five caplets of krill oil before I go to bed. I'm seeing Santa Claus that night. So your brain is made basically out of what fish oil is. <laughs>
So we don't make a big profit off of it, but you notice I just obsess because whatever the best is we've got, I just can't lie to you. I, I just can't do it. I just, I just, see, there's evil that lies constantly. I can't lie. It's a, seriously. And I'm just telling you, fish oil is like, everybody knows it. Everybody's like, God, I ate a big fish tonight. I had some incredible dreams. I feel great. Fish is magic. Fish is incredible. And this is concentrated. Ultimate krill oil, explosive, insane, psychoactive to the maximum. It is next level. And then you've got the wildcrafted ultimate fish oil. It's amazing. And you got, you've got the honor roll for children, which <laughs> we'll be right back. <laughs> <laughs> it's Friday, February 1st, 2019. Dr. Nick Begich, one of the top scientists out there exposing the globalist decades before it became cool, takes over in the next segment. But I'll tell you why I love our crew. Because I'm about to break down something that is beyond central, beyond core. It's key, meaning it turns the lock, it changes the paradigm, it is victory. Trump's strength is also his greatest weakness. That's how paradoxes work. He never ran for political office. He aspired to the highest position in the land. He was able to make a lot of major deals work. He turned the country around. He got us out of the TPP, he got some decent judges appointed, he got millions of jobs back, but they raised the interest rates and killed the recovery. But my biggest frustration is, in my conversations with the president, and if I brought it up, man, the lawyers break in on the phone. Because all our phone calls have been monitored. He's like, just a minute, please. He comes back a minute later is when I say, Mr. President, embedded stay behind networks by Obama, $2 billion, John Warner Defense Authorization Act were established. Hundreds of millions of dollars was paid to operations against you. It is the scandal that will bring them down, sir. Very interesting, Alex, how do you know that? Sir, it's in the legislation. People around you are scared. They're hedging their bets for their families. Your only way out of this is to go completely at them head on. Well, Alex, I just wanted to thank you. And can I talk to your wife? I heard you just got remarried. Uh, sir, we're talking about your life here. And then we have a 10 minute conversation when he actually like, let's cut through it. This is a real conversation. I'm not here trying to go. Oh, I'm talking to the president. I'm talking to you about what's about to happen. And then Trump went and did research and found out I was telling the truth, and began demanding briefings daily within six months into office of everything on InfoWars. That's when Kelly came in and they said, we're quote, banning InfoWars at the White House. And that's when the craziness started, all the lawsuits and things, because they're like, what are we gonna do? It's like Ronald Reagan when he was reading what people like Congressman McDonald were saying. Well, they just killed McDonald and they killed at the same time, basically the father of the man we're about to have on, a famous congressman who also stood up to this. So I want listeners to understand, this isn't Netflix. This isn't movies. This isn't Winnie the Pooh, okay? This isn't Star Wars. Luke Skywalker and Han Solo weren't really at Los Eisley Spaceport having that shootout. But this, this is happening. So I'm going to have baggage take over. And I'm going to cover this more in shows tomorrow, emergency broadcasts that are, that are important. But I noticed this last week when the layoff started, and then I forgot to cover it. And then Harrison Smith, one of our researchers, came to me and he said, have you noticed this? The Internet's talking about this. Well, my God, I'm glad they're finally talking about it because they didn't just illegally spy on Trump as a candidate or as the nominee or as president-elect, or as president, and got caught doing it, and got caught trying to wear wires, and, and all this crap, and lied to Congress, lied to him, lied to the courts. That's jail time, cut and dry. They didn't just do that. They put $2 billion in the kitty for all the race war stuff and everything you're seeing, and 100 
and 60 million in one fund just to BuzzFeed and CNN. And they went to these trusted quote reporters. They lined them up. I talked to folks that were there. That's why they got so scared and banned me off Twitter when I confronted Oliver Darcy. And I said, I know you're part of an InfraGuard infrastructure, and I know you've been given a code key and national security clearance into Google, which is really run by the CIA and the NSA. That's on record. And I, I told him the Capitol, I said, I know you're doing this against me, and you're a rogue group, which is criminal, because it's in the law. Well, it was pointed out to me that last week, and it's in the New York Times right here, document cam shot, please, that those billions of dollars divvied up in 150 and $200 million groups was divvied up and ended last week. The funding all started in late January 2017 and ran for two years. Trump wouldn't listen. Trump wouldn't kill it. He couldn't get the bureaucracy to kill it. We know they're in full mutiny against him. But still, they didn't get the funding re-upped. So the funding to CNN and BuzzFeed and a bunch of other groups, think of that list. Because that's under national security. That's in defense authorization. That's secret who the money went to. We just know who they admitted it. Think about the scandal. Richard Nixon had a list of 100 people, never used it with the IRS. They did this. So here it is. This is the New York Times. U.S. Senate panel okays funds to fight online propaganda. The United States bolters fight against foreign online propaganda. A major Congress passed a portion of the National Defense Authorization Act to pour $160 million into the effort over two years. That was two years ago. There's a glitch today showing the new date. That's the New York Times two years ago. So that funding in H.R. 5181 just ended. And there's the article that Zero Hedge reported on it back in December of 2016. Obama quietly signs the Countering Disinformation and Propaganda Act. Because, see, the outgoing president, he signs the bill for the next two years. It always staggers, but next two years. So see, so that's what you've seen. This whole thing has been our military interfacing with the newspapers and others to put out all this crazy crap with an elected president fighting propaganda funding that was put in place in December of 2016 that was enacted Three days after he was elected, January 23rd, 2017, this is so epic, this story that's hiding in plain view that if Trump takes hold of this and takes action and wonders, because he wouldn't stop it, it was too complex, he wouldn't do it. But the fact now that this is known, and that's why the layoffs are happening, it's all confirmed. Nick Beggis, you're about to take over, but uh, you know, your brother, a senator, your, your father, a congressman, you a scientist, just looking at this, how incredible is this that Trump didn't take action, but they didn't get it refunded because Obama wasn't there. They can't believe they got away with this. Trump has the keys to victory right here. Yeah, you know, uh, the whole issue of uh, propaganda, you know, and, and and here it is, you know, in plain sight, like you say, Alex. And, you know, this is the simplest form of uh, manipulation uh, of behavior, mind control, if you will, you know, is the idea that you can... Uh, use the government, the power of government, uh, to create um, propaganda. And what does propaganda mean in the 21st century? It's not just advertising and sloganeering. It's the deeper aspects of manipulating and moving the crowd, so to speak. So you have uh, the manipulation of big data. You have um, the manipulation of information itself and deciding what um, audiences are going to hear. All of this um, sort of feeds that uh, machine. Uh, that sure, was sort but there's of the arrogance the that they would get away with it. I mean, the, right. the fact that they did it is their Waterloo if we just take action. Right. And, you know, the, the illusion of all this, uh, as we're going into the break, is they created uh, the panic over international terrorism, international drug trafficking as a preload, uh, as the uh, precursor to the invasion of, uh, of this uh, republic through the invasion of our privacy. EarthPulse.com, EarthPulse.com. Nick Baggett's response to this huge breaking news on the other side.
CBD rich hemp oil is totally organic, all natural, something God gave us, and it doesn't have THC in it, and it's totally legal in all 50 states. This is where everybody's going. This is what your body actually needs. There are so many different spectrums of this natural oil that comes from him, now legal and lawful in all 50 states, that you need to just go research it for yourself. Now, obviously, there's been a giant marijuana legalization craze that Soros has funded the last 10 years. I've not been involved in that. It's a huge bubble. This is not marijuana. There are hundreds of varieties of hemp. This is industrial hemp that has all the good attributes, but not the bad attributes that turn people into potheads in their basements, picking and eating their boogers. This is the good CBD from the organic hemp oil. And there are so many great products that you simply need to go to InfoWarsStore.com and link over to WashingtonsReserve.com or simply go to WashingtonsReserve.com yourself to look at all the products, to read about the history, and to see the facts for yourself. So 360 win. Uh, there are different CBD uh, rich hemp oil extractions for many, many, many different uses. You owe it to yourself to go look at this for yourself and to also understand it helps fund the info war. People wonder why I haven't gotten into CBD oil? Well, because some of the stuff's got problems, some of it can get you high, and some of it can get you arrested. This is not that. Legal in all 50 states. It's from hemp, not marijuana. It's totally legal. Again, ladies and gentlemen, we can ship to all 50 states right now from the great website, WashingtonsReserve.com.